What's up everybody? Welcome to the pre-battle analysis. Obviously, I already did the battle. I had to do this after the fact cuz I've been kind of rushed this uh this entire like uh <laughs> these past 3 weeks of XDL. I've been really, you know, trying to get some time to actually prepare, but I haven't really found it. I've relied on my front office and uh what spare time I have between my two jobs to actually be able to do it. However, I only have one job now, which is good. I will now have time to do YouTube again. <laughs> But yeah, uh, this week we're facing Bryce Manby, and I had to do my prep all pretty last minute. So we're going to go over this real quick. Uh, we're running a Weakness Policy Colossal, a very standard set just because it hits things like Premier and a Dragapult, Oranguru. Like everything doesn't like a Max Vocalith, and Solar Beam is really nice just for that water type on his team. Uh, we're speed crept specifically to outspeed Dragapult at plus six. We have a Choice Scarf Sneasel with Inner Focus, Surf, Triple Axel, Beat Up, Taunt. A lot of options. Taunt, obviously, to stop. Uh, Trick Room on a Ranguru, as long as it's not Mental Herb. Uh, we have Beat Up to activate the Verizion. Triple Axle to hit Dragapult really hard in case we end up going for that instead of uh, a Surf play or a Beat Up play to deal with it. And of course, Surf just to activate the Weakness Policy and Steam Engine on the Colossal. We're running Choice Scarf with enough speed to outspeed Dragapult because, like I said, Dragapult is really fast in the Steam and is able to deal with a lot of things. Um, and being able to outspeed that thing prevents anything like fake out to break my hypothetical sash into an attack from Dragapult to prevent the setup. So Choice Scarf is just really nice. We have an Eject Button Morgrim that's just max max for special defense with Light Screen Reflect, Trick Thunder Wave. This is mainly meant to help me deal with um, in particular weakness policy setup mons and uh, beat up Dragapult plus Terrakion which is something that he has access to so that's what this guy's for. And the bulk is just really nice for Colossal with screens and stuff. And we have a Talonflame speed crept for his Alolan Ninetales, Tailwind Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, Overheat, Safety Goggles to make sure Gale Wing stays intact through Hail if he decides to bring it. And the rest of our team is just last week's Verizion and last week's Dracozolt because I didn't have time. <laughs> I didn't have time to make a new one, so we're just going to go with those. But yeah, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and get into the battle. Again, sorry for like the last minute stuff. It'll be different next week because I have a full week to actually do stuff. A lot of free time to be a YouTuber. So more videos coming, etc. Let's go ahead and get into it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another XDL Draft League battle. This is going to be the last week where I'm like really, really trying to get some time to prepare. This is this is a very rushed week once again. However, it's going to be the last rushed week because I am actually... You know, a lot more free time now. I'm going to be able to record videos a lot more often because if you haven't noticed, I've been a little bit inactive. I also just moved back to town, but I'm not in my apartment yet. I'm staying at a buddy's place, so the sound might seem a little bit weird because the I, I, the acoustics are a little bit different in this room. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into it. We're facing Bryce Manby. He's a really cool YouTuber. His channel is something that I follow pretty consistently, and uh, his link's going to be down in the description below. But yeah, let's see. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to go over the team right now, but... I hopefully will have gone over the team prior to the video, um, but we're doing this on Sunday, so it's, you know, it's a last minute upload. Like I said, it's going to be the last time I'm going to be doing this at the last minute, hopefully, but yeah, I have more time. So let's see what we got here. Um, my microphone is in front of his team preview. So we see an Oranguru, a Boltund, Steelix, Arcanine, Mian Shao, and Dragapult. Uh, I obviously packed Verizion, Colossal, Sneasel, Dragazult, Talonflame, and Morgrim. I was actually pretty concerned about the possibility of beat up Terrakion. So that's why I brought the eject button Morgrim. But it looks like that shouldn't be too annoying right now. Unless we see a weakness policy somewhere else, I won't have to do something like that. I could also prevent Trick Room. I could prevent Trick Room uh, on lead by leading off Morgrim and going for the trick. But that's only if they don't go for a um, for a fake out with Mian Shao. But I think it's safe just to go Sneasel Colossal for game one, kind of scout what's going on. And in the back, um, Verizion isn't looking too terrible, actually. It's got a pretty solid matchup versus Steelix. Uh, and I think my last Mon, uh, I'm somewhat tempted to actually go with, uh, Morgrim, even though I don't have the, uh, <laughs> I don't have anything to eject button on immediately. But I think just the screen support should be relatively useful. Because I am running just dual screens, um, Trick and Thunder Wave. Like, it's just like a pure support set right now. Okay. Okay. 
So we move off with Dragapult Mian Xiao. I'm actually pretty good with that lead. Uh, I kind of want to scout for the possibility of Surf Dragapult. Uh, I'm not... I mean, obviously they could try to outspeed me here, but... It's game one. I'm willing to try this. I'm willing just to... Ooh, what if I triple axled? What if I triple axled here? I'm going to triple axle and scout for the Surf. Because I am Choice Scarf, I can do this. And if that doesn't work out... Um... Let me think. Is Morgrim safe? I'd rather not reveal the eject button. I'll just go Verizion here. I can also protect. I'll go Verizion. I want a triple axle because I, I might be able to get a free KO from that. I am running Adamant and I'm speedcraft to outspeed the Dragapult specifically. So they might go for like a fake out and try to KO me. Because the fake out wouldn't flinch me, right? Obviously, but the fake out would be just to break a sash if I had it. I feel like they're packing Surf Dragapult, and they're gonna geyser me, which I'm cool with because this is an Assault Vesper Zeon. Oh, that's fun. I missed my Triple Axel, which would have been huge. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's literally the worst thing that possibly could have happened. Um, that's really unfortunate because now they know I'm Scarf and I got no reward from that because I missed my Triple Axel. And then they one-shot me, so... And we also know that they have Airstream, so that's pretty bad. So they go for the close combat. Yeah, this has been an unfortunate turn one. Uh... Mm, I think I forfeit now. <laughs> I think I forfeit. I can try this. I can try to trick this onto the Dragapult right now and just sack this guy. Or I think I just forfeit... I think I honestly just forfeit game one. I think I have to forfeit game one right now. I, I have to go for the, for the turn one forfeit. Because I'm going to reveal way too much info. Yeah, send him a GG game one. I, if I did anything else to that game, I would reveal way too much info. Given the fact that it's a draft league battle. <sighs> that sucked. Okay. It's all good. Didn't want to reveal more info. Yeah, he was saying sorry for the miss, but I, I, that wasn't necessarily like a rage quit. I was literally just like, if I show anything else, I have no chance of winning. <laughs> That's pretty much why I had to forfeit there. If anything else got revealed, like it would be over. But that tells me that there's no surf on the Dragapult. Um, and I can pretty comfortably take whatever he goes for, honestly. Like, I think I'm just going to do the same thing. I think I really just do the same thing, but this time either don't miss or hit the Dragapult. <laughs> One or the other would be fine. Um, I could even focus down the... I could try to KO the, um, the Mian Xiao turn one. Because the close combat's really the biggest thing threatening me. Nothing else in the back really threatens the, the Colossal at that point, so... Uh, I think I'm going to bring the Morgrim again. I definitely want Verizion again. That was That's not a bad Pokemon in this matchup, but I did not play it well that game. Uh, and I think I'm going to go Morgrim once more. So same squad, different game plan, pretty much. All right. So they go Arcanine or Ranguru. Uh, that's fine by me. Probably just gonna go for a Trick Room. I think I'm fine playing under Trick Room, to be honest. I think I'm perfectly fine with that. Because I do have the Morgrim, which is gonna be nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just activate. I'm fine with it. I could taunt, though. But there's... What's the chances they're not Mental Herb? Last time I thought something was Mental Herb, it, it wasn't. So... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go for the Raw Vocalith. I'm just gonna Dynamax. And I'm gonna taunt. Because even if they go for a Snarl, just getting the rocks up on the field isn't what matters. 
that residual damage is really nice. And even though, like, you look at Steelix and you see, like, ah, yeah, there's no way it takes rock damage, it actually does, because it's steel ground and not rock type. Which is something I always forget. Growing up, I thought it was, uh, rock steel, like Akron. Alright, let's see if he's Mental Herb. Please don't be. Yeah, there it is, okay. <laughs> well, I'm really glad I didn't, uh, <laughs> do what I was gonna do. Because now I can actually get screens up uh, with my Morgrim and survive whatever that uh, Steelix wants to go for in the back, since that's likely what they brought. And this should still one-shot because I'm modest max special attack. And if I remember correctly, you can't instruct uh, Dynamax Pokemon, so there's no fear of a double max Quake, I just have to fear like an Earthquake. So I should just get my weakness policy and possibly one-shot it back. Or at the very least come close enough where it's not really an issue. There he is. Seelix's attack stat isn't that great, so I feel pretty comfortable just going for the Reflect here. And the uh, Max Flare, assuming he's just going to go ahead and uh, give me my weakness policy. Yeah, I think I'm fine here. They could be Assault Vest Steelix, which is what I would assume they are, but they're still not going to take it very well at, um, effectively plus one, because they're going to get a Max Quake boost. Alright, let's see how well we take this. This actually isn't something I calc for, believe it or not. <laughs> There's the Reflect. I'm mostly, like, HP. I should take this fine. As I'm actually slower than them, which is pretty good news for me. As long as they're not weakness policy. Oh, what if they're Bulldoze weakness policy and I just lost? They're definitely not Assault Vest, I just learned that. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> this is not going well. As they go for the Steel Spike, which, that's fine, because I'm going to underspeed them. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. I might be able to do this. I want to say the Steelix is going to have to protect here and they're going to have to reverse the Trick Room. But I'm not sure how much it matters. How many turns of Trick Room are left? There are three turns of Trick Room. I want to say they have to protect here and reverse Trick Room. So I'm going to go ahead and just Leaf Blade and protect. I could also double the Oranguru and play really aggressive, but I think it's safer just to protect and hit the Steelix because Oranguru isn't too threatening. Yeah, I'm going to protect and hit the Steelix. And even if Leaf Blade doesn't KO, like, after rocks, this will. Let's see if they guarded. If they Psychic, I should tank that pretty well, because I'm Verizion with an Assault Vest. Yeah, that isn't even... That, that does not count as super effective damage. That's a lie. That was a lie. As they actually double the Verizion, so, uh... Definitely missed out on a KO there. I guess my only out here is getting a double protect. And even then, I need like a triple protect. And I'm still gonna take quake damage regardless, so this is definitely just game. Really unfortunate week, unfortunately. Double unfortunate, because I just said it in the same sentence. I did not expect to be slower than them, because I you know, I don't have much speed investment, but I thought Steelix was slower than that. 
What's Steelix's base speed? What is it? I don't get the protect. That's game. Let me double check that. As they actually guard instead. And they reverse the... Interesting. It's got 30 base speed, which means this Steelix is not minimum speed. In fact, it has speed investment. That's what I've learned here. Huh. I mean, Steelix dies at the end of the turn. Oh, wait, no. I think the rocks are gone. Yeah. Dang. Okay. Uh, I can just try to protect here. See what happens. <laughs> I'm assuming it's telepathy. Yeah. Okay. What if it was a speed tie? What if I actually outspeed now? Nah, that's game. Alright, good game. <laughs> okay. GG, well played. So yeah, uh, we got really unlucky game one. And game two was more or less just um, surprise factor of the uh, of the slow wheezing. Or of the fast wheeze. Or, why am I saying? Of the fast Steelix. Uh, but Bryce played pretty well, regardless. Uh, I mean, like, he played well game two. Game one, like, that was one turn. <laughs> that was one turn worth of gameplay, so... I mean, like, yeah, he played well there, too, obviously, because he outplayed me, but... Yeah, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, next week, I'm actually gonna try to, you know, do some real preparation, because this is all done last minute. Uh, but thank you all for watching. I apologize for the lack of content with how busy I've been. Uh, now, I only have one job instead of two, so that should help. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Bye.